Well, if there is such a thing as Christmas in July, then this guy next to me is Santa Claus. <laughs> because when it comes to July 4th and Boomerama, it's time to go. You're giddy with excitement like a little kid no, at Christmas. It's, 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 it's right on there. <laughs> Mayor it's Tom Moore. Yeah. And Tim Gibson. brand new title yes. of Parks Director, I believe. Park Superintendent. Park Superintendent. Yeah. Tim Park. Gibson. And if you've ever been to the park in the past 20 years, you've probably seen Tim <laughs> somewhere there. Without Boomerama is coming up. I was going to say sneaking up on us, but you know, I don't think it's sneaking anymore. Nothing sneaks up on anybody anymore. It's just like full bore all the time. <laughs> The delay with COVID, and we came out running sprint, and we haven't looked back. So, obviously, Boomerama is the fireworks. Yes. That's That's the creme de la creme. At the city park. But it's a full day event for families. It is. Uh, we got a lot of little things. We're trying to initiate the, some of the past with some new stuff. We're hoping to have some games for a couple hours, some old sack races, maybe balloon contests and different things, and then give out some prizes. We're going to have the pool open all day, activity. Uh, there's ongoing pool party there vendors in the park Cambridge City Band kicks butt at the big pavilion uh, and, and the families come in early they go to the pavilions set up a little tent you know and start having some picnics and things and it just starts kind of percolating and then comes to a crescendo there at the end of the night I didn't even know that word I don't yeah. know that <laughs> that's impressive <laughs> I'm surprised uh, but that's now, poor Tim over here, he's only been in charge for a short period of time. There's no honeymoon on this job. No. Are you no, ready for all this out there? Uh, <laughs> as ready as I'm going to be. Uh, <laughs> finding out now we're at a busy time of the year, which, you know, getting the pool up and running there. Uh, we opened up uh, Memorial Weekend. Everything went off really well. Uh, had one little glitch, but other than that, things are really moving along. But uh, finding out now that, yeah, you almost need to start two weeks ahead of what you planned on to just to get everything in. but Now, Boomerama is a community event. Yes. And obviously the city is uh, the driving force behind it, but it wouldn't be possible without the community helping out with it. 100% is the community. I mean, yeah, we drive and parks, we partnership big time, but uh, it's the people. It's their show over the years, and we've just tweaked it and added. And unfortunately with the cost and, you know, across the ocean and shipping and everything, we're we saw another cost increase this year, $5,000, so we got to work hard. But the people always come through, and we appreciate it. The small, the big, the middle, whatever, so, and our big corporate donors. Uh, the letters have went out, and, uh, and we've, in less than three days, we saw some things that were uh, optimistic. As we sit here doing this today, we're less than 30 days away. I know. I can't <laughs> believe it. I just told him that coming in. I'm like, wow. I always feel like Memorial Day is so important in its own self. We don't want to tangle the two together, but it's a sprint to the 4th of July. It's a sprint. It is. Who are some of the sponsors that have already stepped up? Well, you know, uh, Bell Stores just called yesterday and going to send a big commitment, uh, $2,500. I think uh, uh, Bennett Title has already yeah. been on the phone. Bennett Title. A uh, uh, couple individuals there. And, um, you know, in the past, Parnell and Associates come through every year. Colgate. Colgate. Reached out already AMC to Vanadium. We, uh, basic Systems are, are, are big hitters. Uh, so we're, we're, we're hopeful. Uh, they've always big part of what we do. And we've been talking to the manufacturers, a lot of the workers, families come out, and the kids. This is one of the few things that's out there that's pure. It's for the community, by the community, at the, at truly one of the most critical times in our, our nation's history. The 4th of July should be celebrated. It just it hits all the buttons. Now. You love fireworks. Oh, That's yeah. not a secret. I got it, but I got grandkids now, and I got to be careful not to act crazier than that. That's my wife tells me. Wow, that's a lot of work for you. I'm working on it right now. What, what work do you in progress. What surprises do you have in store? What's going to go boom in the sky this well, year? Well, we got a new shooter, uh, and this guy comes with high recommendations. He does the uh, Marietta show off the river and things, so it's obvious he knows what he's doing. He's got the past shooter's blueprints. Uh, we tweak it every year. I do need to have one more discussion with him. We'll have some excitement up there. You'll hear some pretty loud stuff because we set some things up uh, kind of in the road in the cemetery and we block it all off so we make sure we have a big enough fall zone. Yeah. But um, we just want people to be safe. I don't want to promote complete pandemonium, but <laughs> uh, it's, it's borderline. We've noticed that the, the city is responding. People are having more things in their yards and they bring their – it's just kind of neat. You can just see it changing. Yeah. Uh, Pyrotechnico out of uh, 
we thought they were out of Pittsburgh, Newcastle, but they do a lot of things for the Pirates. And our shooters are actually from Indianapolis. Uh, and then they do tremendous shows there. Started out in Cincinnati area doing a lot of big shows there. So we're really looking forward. And they like our setup. They've, they've been out already. We've talked to them. Uh, willing to work with ABC to get the, the sound and everything so all set up and everything too. So. I know we've I'm been working proud on that. We're to be excited. In America. That's right. <laughs> right oh. there at the end and you know the big one's coming. <laughs> it's <down>. coming. <laughs> it's coming. So we, the park's always full. People watch all around the city. Oh yes. Fireworks go off I'm at 10 o'clock. I'm hoping all this rain, rain we're yeah. dealing with now is just delaying that day. Do not do that <clears> to <throat> us then. If I can Knock on say wood. anything to help you out, Tim, it'd be try to keep him isolated, away from the go-karts and the golf carts See, and the yeah. truck. Don't let him run around too much and drive you crazy. When I pointed him to this job, <laughs> he knows me well. I mean, and that's, Mike Edwards has did a great job. And when Mike announced he was retiring, I was like, oh, I had to have someone that is capable of understanding our communi community and hit the ground level at what I expect. And he Running checked, he checked all the baskets. Running full. He thought about not time. doing it for a little bit, and I said, don't do this to me now. <laughs> but no, everything looks good. Yeah. Guys, thanks for coming in and telling everybody about Boomerama. Looking forward to seeing you guys out there July 4th, rain or shine. Rain or come shine. on all, send your money, send anything, and come on out and enjoy it. We hope to have you out there. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Thanks, Joel. Thanks, thanks for, for having us. Thank you, guys. We'd like to thank Cambridge Main Street for sponsoring today's episode of Talk of the Town. If you are interested in being a sponsor, give us a call at 740-432-5605 or email us info at yourradioplace.com.